A very warm welcome for one last time in the 2022-23 campaign to the Rush Green Stadium on an evening that feels like a hero's return home for five of these players after Tuesday night's FA Youth Cup final demolishing over Arsenal. It's that same kind of winning mentality needed tonight in quite different circumstances as the Young Hammers take on Leicester with an aim to extend the one point gap above the drop zone in the Premier League 2. I'm your commentator Tyler Morris and beside me this evening former West Ham keeper Jimmy Walker how are you? Uh, Tyler great great to be here mate. Importantly stopped quickly by Freddie Potts and what about this for a ball on towards Mabama options ahead of him that option is Earthy who slots West Ham into the lead. Wow Fantastic finish from George Earthy. There was only one out. When he got through there, divine, so unselfish, great vision. Slipped George in as well, and it's a, it's a fantastic finish. Like, I don't think there was any other doubt. There was no doubt in the result. Once he got through there one on one, he slipped in a great finish. But if I'm being honest, from our position, I think both would have been close to looking offside to be fair. It looked like Divine was work, trying to work back on side, not quite work back on in time. It was a great clearance. I don't think it was meant as a as a through ball, but it was a great clearance from the back. I think from from Lang and it's gone through the top and, and you know you don't want on bomber and, and George Earthy bearing down it but listen it's hard to see from here but it, it looked like it just worked maybe just worked on inside that's uh, that's what we spoke about before you know then one touch you know one two touch passages of play people coming in in short like a bomber there people stretching it behind that when he turns that's great play this Leicester get the bodies back for now but Chester's looking to advance on and it's a dangerous looking ball all the way to the back post and it's just not quite falling for Scars at the moment in terms of the quality. Obviously, I'm a big admirer. Like I said, work with Caden as well. And how he's come on in the last year or so is, is incredible. I look at him now, you know, he's, he's growing as well. He's still, he's still a kid and the quality is showing is unbelievable. And it's West Ham who are currently growing and currently breaking away oh, with Mabama. And it looks like the spot kick has been given. It's a yellow card that's shown. It was about four on one there for West Ham. Yeah, really sloppy from Leicester actually defensively. But, you know, we've, we've picked the right passes that's, that's, that's dr dragged them out of their position. The stutter and then the slide into the back of the Leicester City net. Mabama scoring again. West Ham scoring again. And they find themselves two goals up with 20 gone at the Rush Green Stadium. Uh, such a confident penalty. You know, you, you talk about that 27 goals now in all competitions this season. That's, that's an incredible return from him. And, you know, testament of how hard he's worked. It's not just happened overnight for him. He's worked so hard on his game and he's reaping the rewards at the minute. And that's a confident penalty, to be fair. Somehow, Freddie Potts managing to retain the possession and find a pass too for Dan Chester's. A lot's happened from that right-hand side so far as West Ham looking to go on for a third. Well, these scars will keep the move alive. And at the moment, it's just chance after chance for West Ham United. So Freddie Potts will deliver for West Ham. Towards that near post again, Mabama's going to try and get there. Not far. Yeah, it got really well. I'd be interested to see this back to be It looks like got head on it a couple of yards out. Scars, great touch in field. So he looks for Swire. Oh, and Swire's going to get there Go first, on. and West Ham are in yet again. Oh. It was fantastic defending from Bobby Amati, who found himself in a similar situation to when he conceded the penalty. Yeah, he's done great there, Freddie Potts. He's been great, and listen, he's, he's played at this level a lot now. You know, you, you look at him and think maybe he could he could definitely go and and trouble a, a real good low move before maybe like looking at the first team definitely so if he's not ready for the first team now he, after one low move he'd be somewhere close he's just play, sprayed a delicious ball to the back post and looking to finish it off was Callum Marshall so close inches away and going to the last game of the season what, what a cracking game that'll be this is Marshall brilliantly taken down so many blue shirts around him as he found Zucker Flex. Clayton makes the move around the outside as West Ham could be in and so close to being in for a third. 
I mean, that's that's been a bit of a story, you know, of the whole game. We've had that's such a good area. It's a fantastic run as well. I mean, that's the first one Callum Marshall's really took in. You know, he's under severe pressure from behind. He's got the defender right behind him, right giving him a little bit from behind, and he's took it in. He's turned out great centre forward play. Found Oco Flex, who slips Regan Clayton at the right time. He's onside. He's got to score. And will there be one last big finish to the season in terms of home fixtures for West Ham? In from Regan Clayton. And it would have been a big finish if it wasn't for a fantastic save from Young. Yeah, fantastic. Great ball in. Just left it in there, Regan Clayton. A lot of lovely ball. Got his head on. Quite sure got a head on it, but it was a fantastic head. It might have been Kalen again. Kalen Casey, but great head. What a fantastic save that is. That's the Swire. angle. Swire. Swire. I mean, that's a sensational save. Really, really good save. He's been good tonight, the goalkeeper. 